all right so this morning i was dropping my kids off at school and uh, i we were talking oh my daughter is uh, talking about how they had assembly yesterday and how the kids were like kind of like laughing while he was performing and all this stuff and i was like wow i, I just that's immature and i was explaining that it takes a lot to go to a middle school because middle schoolers are very immature they're at a stage where they believe that their friends are the only people who are ever going to care for them and your family don't care about them nobody cares about me only my friend and so i was explaining to them also uh while i was explaining like it's hard to, i told i said i don't really go to middle school to speak because like my patience ain't there like my life is so serious that if i ever went to middle school and they start laughing and stuff like that uh, i would get extremely passionate and i started talking about the eric thomas video it's called uh, nothing funny and in that video he was at a high school speaking and he was talking about uh, like really trying to inspire them like this school had 70% of the students could not read at grade level 70% and so he's giving them motivation and someone was talking while he was talking he came there for free and so I was explaining to my kids during that time and also hey this is a message that was in the video and I started explaining to them hey when I was your age my daughter's in seventh grade my son's in sixth grade I said hey, when I was around your age that was actually around the time things start getting funny in my life in the sense of my life was getting ready to drastically change this is going to be the first time that i was like removed from my mother with me knowing right as a child when i was like a baby i don't remember that when i was a toddler i don't remember that but at this point i'm in sixth and seventh grade i'm kind of remembering this stuff and so i was explaining to him like like if i ever went to assembly i didn't have time to laugh and joke at people who came there because it was bigger things i had to worry about I understand I come off very serious, but it's because it was nothing funny in my life. And I never wanted you all to grow up like that. It was nothing funny. By the time I was in eighth grade, I was already removed. I, it, I had been to one, two, three, about four or five different placements. By the time they, it was, it was just, it was bizarre. So I was explaining to my kids, it was nothing funny. I said, in, in life, you think that your friends is always going to be, oh, they're the only people that care about you. So it's going to get to a point where you realize all you got is your family and people who care, a group of people who care about you. You got a handful of people who care about you. So we start listening to the ET video. Uh, if you get a chance, go on YouTube, type in Eric Thomas, nothing funny. That video came up and they were like, they understood. And so I'm just so grateful for people such as Eric Thomas who put videos out like that because as much as I say it and as passionate as I might be, it helps for, for them to hear it from someone else. So it, it was absolutely nothing funny. Nothing funny uh, about my situation, about what those kids are going through. When 70% of the school are not reading at, 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 at grade level. I Like, I couldn't read at grade level, like, the whole time I was in school. So, like, yeah, I would get upset and I would act up. And then by the time I got to college, I was like, man, either I'm going to keep on with this cycle or I'm going to change it. And I decided I'm going to change it. And so people are like, oh, you know, and I, I do a video on this a little later, but like, why am I in school again now? Like, it's not about a degree. I promise you it's not about a degree because I don't care nothing about no other degree. I don't care nothing about no titles. I literally don't take care of nothing about titles. I don't. While I may uh, give you um, a lot of respect because of who you are as a person, um, it, it's not because of your title. Uh, and so... It, it, it's a way of thinking that I've seen certain people who were at certain levels that they had, and I asked them, hey, how did you get like that? They they gave me steps. And so because they gave me those steps, I took I followed those steps. So I wouldn't be in a situation where I couldn't genuinely laugh. Now I can genuinely laugh about any situation, any situation. Why? Because my life is a life that uh, all thanks and honor belong to God that I have because the work was put in. So um, I think it's important, you know, to, to show these, these young kids, you know, uh, sometimes ain't nothing funny. Sometimes ain't nothing funny. You don't, don't, you can't be in a classroom ca uh, capping jokes and walking. And I even see adults acting a fool. I'm like, nothing in your life is funny. You need to be serious. Go take your butt out and learn a skill. Like when I was in New Orleans, 
across the street was the library. It, like any major city, there's a library like downtown, and typically there are individuals who are homeless, homeless, unhoused, whatever you prefer, whatever makes you feel comfortable, you know, calling them, call it, call it that. And I was like, man, I wonder, you know, how, how beautiful it would be if they came in the library full of resources, took advantage of the resources, and then went out there and got a skill. And I know people say, oh, it's more, com it's more complex than that Sade. I understand that. I know. I, oh, Sade is this. Is, let me tell you this. As, never mind. I, don't give me start. Don't give me start. I'm just going to say this. I grew up around that stuff. Ain't nothing you can tell me. You can, you can show me a research paper. I didn't do research. I lived through that stuff. I seen those people make those mistakes. I seen what happens when y'all when y'all when y'all flood them with this uh with with all oh, with excuses i i don't when when i think that sometimes we help people because it makes us feel good all right and so again i said i was in new orleans i seen all them people i was like man i'd be beautiful to come up in here read one of these books learn a skill set boom go out there execute and you sometimes got to be straight up honest with people and say, ain't nothing funny. Look where you live at. Look at the conditions that we're, that we're working from. Look, ain't nothing funny here. So anyways, um, I'm just happy my kids like, oh, man, I just seem like a light bulb go off. I'll drop them off at school. By God's grace, they can never relate to my story from my childhood. They don't understand foster care. I don't ever want them to understand or relate to foster care. I want them to have compassion. I want them to, you know, be the type of person that says, hey, you know what, I'm, I, you know, I'm sorry that this happened. You know, let, let's find some solution. But I don't ever want them to say, I, too, am foster care. I, too, can relate to a foster youth. No, I can't. And that was my goal. Mission accomplished. Anyways, um, check out that video. Y'all have a great day.